I guess we are live already in Ramble and in YouTube and Discord. Shalom, everybody, and uh, he is risen, our Lord, our Savior, and may the Lord bless you all. And I hope all of you have a great time with your family, enjoying the salvation of Christ and his work, which is done for us. Uh, today, as you see, you know, we will not waste our time. Uh, we have a lot of Muslims to save from the evil of Islam, so we designate our work always to be focused on what is important. So we will ask the Muslims very simple questions, and we will see if there is any Muslim really he can answer those questions. If there is any Muslim who would like to join us, live on air. Any Muslim would like to join us? No? Yes? Who is a Muslim would like to join us? The Muhammadan, they claim Islam is a religion which can save you from hellfire. My experience with this so-called religion, that it is the hellfire itself. And you will see today that Muslims, they have no religion. In fact, nobody even knows what Islam is about, especially the Muslims. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? You are a Christian, you want to come to the stage? We want Muslims. We want Muslims for now. Best player, are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? All right, so why you put your hand up? We said we want Muslims. 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 Muhammadans. You don't know what Muhammad and those who go on the screen angry and they are always unhappy and they say Allahu Akbar. So in case you are confused, what are you? You know? Do we have any Muslim who is angry? I mean, every Muslim is angry. I never saw a Muslim is not angry. And maybe this is one of the successful things about Islam that it makes you angry uncomfortable and happy and you will see a Muslim say Subhanallah Islam make me happy I don't see it where will you take non-Muslim today at all we will see customers come first do we have any Muhammadan Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan would like to join us and have a nice conversation with us? A Muslim in the chat is speaking about his prophet marrying an adult, claiming that Aisha, she's an adult. Yeah, well, according to Muslims, she was dating at the age of four. At the age of five, her boobs was like a balloon, yeah. Yeah, she's adult. I can't tell. Who is a Muslim would like to join us? And don't worry, I'm not going to ask you about Aisha if you don't like this question, don't worry. I mean, Muhammad, he have his own hobby, you know. Eh? 
in in the in the world today they call it pedophile you know uh, uh, for Muslim this is a hobby it's like collecting stamps you know some people collect coins Muhammad he liked to collect young girls in his bed well, yeah, you know Allah told him he's not, he's, he's not even interested but Allah Allah told him brother you know Muhammad is a good guy but Allah Allah told him go and get Aisha you know and obviously Aisha is so horny. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? Hmm? Anyone? I see Muslims make YouTube saying like, you know, they can answer questions. Uh, you remember this guy with his name, Learn Turn Something, Potato? We went to his channel. We challenged him to let me to, to, to come to speak to him. The coward, he told his admin, ban them, ban them. We don't have time for them. Yeah, he have time for those who do not know anything about us now. Muslims are cowards. Not only their prophet is coward, they are cowards. They want to speak to someone who knows nothing. So they can look like they are the one who knows. Error, are you a Muslim? Only if you are a Muslim. You can join us. All right. Will your God have four adulterous women? And is this guy talking to me? I don't know. My God, he never have a woman. It's your God who said in the Quran, how can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? <laughs> Allah cannot have a son without a girlfriend. I mean, this is present how, how powerful Allah is. Allah is God, according to Muslims, but he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. I mean, that is really a powerful God. Why you don't join us? Come here, you know, instead of making uh, just noise in the chat. Uh, come here, Abdul. Let us talk. Let us see who, is, who, have, who have God, who don't. Is that an answer written by God? That he cannot have a son because he doesn't have a girlfriend. What? Why the Christians they believe that their God have a girlfriend? That's why he have a son. He's answering who? Who is the one believe that God have a wife? He have sex with her and then they have a son. Muhammad is answering who? You see, when you give such an answer, that means people believe in such a thing. Who are they the one who believe that Allah have a son because he had sex? Is that you Muslims? Is that the Arab? Any Muhammadan? Maybe, maybe. Any Muhammad that would like to join us. And by the way, don't worry, I'm not going to ask you those questions, but this is just to answer the one in the chat. I mean, actually, I will not even ask you questions. I said, if you can answer three questions, I mean, I will give you the chance, you as a Muslim, to choose questions you choose to ask me, to, 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 for me to ask you about Islam. You see how easy it is? Like you call me and you say, okay, ask me those three questions about Islam. How wonderful. Salvation, are you a Muslim?
Why people don't listen? I say Muslims only, they put their hand up. <coughs> Any Muhammadan? A Muslim saying, do you eat your God meat and drink his blood? Uh, this is the stupid Muhammadan, you know, when a Muslim, he make a logic. You know, can you show me where, where Christians eat their God blood? We drink uh, juice. Jesus, he broke bread and he said, this is symbolic for my body. It will be broken for you. So you're silly. We eat bread, Abdul. It's not us who is zombie. Call me and I will show you how you Muslims commanded to all, to eat a human being. You want to bet? Is it Khalid ibn Walid? He cooked a Muslim and he ate him? Is it your books in Azhar University says if a Muslim leave Islam we can eat him? Call me, call me. Let us see who eat a human zombie. <laughs> you Muslims eat a human even you are allowed to have sex with dead wife. If your wife, she died, you can do boom, boom to the dead women. This is your religion. So don't, uh, you know, here we speak about something literal. You Muslims, you take something from the Bible and we laugh at you when you say what you say. So suddenly now when we eat the bre bread, it's bread. We are eating Jesus, buddy. We are drinking blood of Jesus. You, know, you are silly, stupid. I mean, stupidity is... Uh, he is using weak hadith. I did not say what hadith. I did not say. It. Did I say hadith? Guys, it's a weak hadith. So are you saying to me Islam is weak? So how Islam is preserved if Islam, more than 80% of it, is not preserved? Because Islam based on the hadith. There's nothing in the Quran. <laughs> Guys, this is one of the stupid things about Islam. They say to us Islam is religion. Quran is the guidance of Islam. But the fact the Quran is not the guidance book of Islam, the, the, the Quran is nothing. The Islam is in the Hadith. And the second you show a Muslim anything is embarrassing, which is all Islam is embarrassing. I mean, name one thing for me is not embarrassing for those Abdul. <laughs> hey Abdul, why you wash your nose? Why you wash your nose before you do ablution? Because Shaitan, he's sleeping it. Am I lying? Am I lying? Shaitan is sleeping in your nose. How big your nose? How small is Shaitan? And you Muslim, you don't feel anything. What about his shoes? He leave them outside. Only if you are a Muslim, let me know, and I will invite you. If you are not a Muslim, I will not. So don't put your hand up unless you are a Muslim. Do we have any Muhammadan? Ihtadarat min al nari bi hadir. What is that? So a woman, she drank the piss of Muhammad, and Muhammad he told her that no fire will touch your stomach no more, which means hellfire. So the side effect of a drinking Muhammad piss, you don't go to hell, brother. <laughs> must be true. I mean, it must be there is a superpower in the piss of the Prophet. This is holy piss. Well, think about it. Holy Prophet have holy piss. And they have holy shit. Isn't it even the Hadith says that the Prophet, when he do shit, the earth open its mouth and swallow it and nobody can find it no more? Is that right? So the word holy shit is coming from Islam, from Prophet Muhammad specifically. The second Muhammad, he sat in the ground to do poo-poo. You know, it's coming. The earth right away is desperate to eat it because it's so yummy, brother. Aisha, she asked him, Prophet, how come after I enter after you in the bathroom, I see nothing there? Prophet, he said to her, don't you know that the earth swallow the feces of the Prophet? 
مم. يعني عبدول يعني محمدا I mean if the prophet his feces is holy who is a Muslim would like to join us may they may they how do you do I want to join Islam the only thing by the way prevent me from joining Islam is having an English penis size that is a scary you know I watch a movie about the Amazon River and those little tiny fish who bite any meat so imagine your penis goes like you don't know where it's going it's English I mean it's literally endless Muhammad he said can nakhla sahuq endless palm tree and then what you find yourself like you know penis like you receive a call from the Chinese ching ho he ho he ho what the heck is that let me use google translation sir we gave you a fine because your penis is blocking the railway stations and hit two airplanes and caused disaster in the city of Qinghai what the heck? All of this because of one penis? So what would happen if all the Muslims have endless penis? Is that the religion of God promise endless penis? I mean, why in the time of Muhammad? Why Muhammad he so focused in the size of the penis? Like maybe at that time the Muslim their penis was peanut. So he want to give them a relief. Like it's so small now, we will make it big for you. Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Until now we have zero Muhammadan. People are ramble. If you have any Muslims, let them come to call me here, you know. By the way, if you call me and defend Islam, do you know? Your God will even make your penis longer. And he might even install a like a, a, a special LED light on it. Is that religion of God promising endless penis? Anyone? Who is a Muhammad and would like to join us? May they, may they. How do you do? Who want to convert me to Islam? I want to have four wives. I'm very strong. Anyone? Okay, as long as we don't have Muslims, we will take some callers who they are not Muslims, maybe. All right. Temporarily, until we got some Abdul. Let us see. Hello. Yes, Mr. Bulgari. So uh, I wanted to say, you know, uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, Muslim, by the way, you know. Uh -huh. So there's a, a guy that we need to pray for, you know, um, that is Christian. He's actually running from Muslims that tried to kill him in Gambia. He's Gambian, and now he's immigrated to Italy. And he's very young, 16 years old. He wants to preach the gospel, you know, to his own people in uh, Italy, to the Gambian people over there. Uh, and, uh, you know, he actually got kicked out of, from his home in Gambia because his parents were Muslim. And uh, he was not. He did not want to become Muslim. So pray for the guy because he's really in need for prayers. You know, that's, that's just what I wanted to say. All right, my friend. Thank you. The Lord will be his supporter. Thank you. Amen. All right. Uh, if you are a Muslim, you are interested to convert us to Islam, please feel free. I'm ready to convert. I feel it today. I feel Jibril is touching me. I mean, not in a sexual way, for sure. I hope not.
So if we have any Muslim would like to convert me to Islam, I am ready for it. I feel like the the spirit of Allah. I forgot Allah have no spirit. Sorry. I mean I don't know how to. Okay. The the uh, the shin of Allah is inviting me to play football with him. Anyone? Any Muhammadan would like to join us? All right. Anyone? Uh, error. You keep putting your hand up and I invite you, but you don't accept. So if you do it one more time, I will block you. Go ahead, error. Um, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, actually, uh, I, I'm not a Muslim, uh, but uh, I want to talk uh, something about the Israel and Palestine conflict. Well, what uh, what Palestine? Where is the country Palestine is exist? Uh, not Palestine. Huh? Bro, you are taking on the start question. No, you said uh, I want to talk about Israel and Palestine conflict. Where we can find. Okay, Israel and Huh? Israel and Hamas. Ah, okay. So what do you want to talk about the conflict? Tell us. Do you have any news? Actually, I don't have any knowledge about that. And uh, there are my many friends who put on their social media channels about uh, hashtag Free Palestine and all, and always try to tell me to support Palestine. So I don't even know about the knowledge of that topic. Well, so. if you want to support so-called Palestine, which does not exist, then the Muslims are against Allah because in the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 21, Allah commanded the Jews to go and kill every single Palestinian. So those are not Palestinians because those are Palestinians who are killed already. Allah destroyed them already. And this is in the Quran. You know, so if the Muslims are truthful, do they believe in their book or not? They will say they believe, but obviously they don't. You know, so as you see, as you see here, the Quran confirmed that this land is a holy land is given to the Jews by Allah. So how the Muslims, how hypocrite the Muslims are. Allah never mentioned the word Palestine in the Quran. You see here it says Palestine. This is not in the Quran. This is the translator. He put it between two brackets because the Quran is a so stupid, silly book. It's very confusing. You don't know what they are talking about. So the Muslims, they have to add a bracket to fix it. In other way, they are fixing the weak Arabic of Allah. So all oh my people enter the Holy Land, which Allah has assigned to you. Who's talking? Moses. This is Moses. You see it? Moses. Hmm? So if the Muslim, they speak about something so-called Palestine, then they should go and spit at their God Allah, for he is the reason of this war if it exists however those people are not exist no more there's no palestinian palestinians are not arab if you ask those people who live in gaza what is your what is your language they say arabic okay what is your ethnic they say arab <laughs> but arab are not palestinians <laughs> and palestinians have nothing to do with the arab never spoke arabic they don't even know what arabic is and palestinian Huh? So the Israeli people were in that land since my friend this the Israeli now they are coming back to their land they are taking the Israeli they've been captured so how did they got uh, separated huh how did they got separated what separated what does that mean I don't understand like you you have said that uh, they are trying to come back to their land yeah, but because the because the Pharaoh he captured them, the whole nation of Israel, and he took them. This happened twice. Happened uh, by the Babylonian king, and happened again by the Pharaoh. So the Egyptian, they capture all of us. We know the story of Moses, how he crossed the sea, crossed the sea to go where to go back home. So the the Jews are not taking the land of somebody. This is their land, and they are coming back home. And they found people who live there who didn't, the land does not belong, this is their land. People who occupy their land live in their houses. So this is what the story is about. The Jews are now coming back home. They are not invading. 
No. Yeah, but uh, the, it is not uh, their mistake too because there was no one living there, right? It's not about mistake. It's about this is my land. I take it back. This is not a mistake. Who's talking about mistakes? Same time as you see, Allah is the one who is commanding them, and not only that, He is saying to them, "This is the land assigned to you." It's a land assigned. It is for them. That's it. Nobody can take it except them. So if this is their God, Allah saying so, why the Muslims are being hypocrite, saying this land is not assigned to the Jews? If the stupid Quran says this is a land assigned for the Jews, as you see, it's in front of you. Are, am I making things up or you can see it? Can you see my screen? Yeah. All right. Does it say in the Muslim translation, this is the land assigned to the Jews? One minute. <clears throat> but uh, it, it doesn't say that clearly uh, which land is, the, is that. What do you mean doesn't say clearly? Doesn't even the Muslim they say in the translation Palestine? Okay, so how that is not clearly for you? So the Muslims themselves, they make it clearly for you. And it is Palestine. So where were these huh? this Palestinian people first living before? Those are Arab. They came with the Arabian invasion. When the Arab, they invade the land and they occupy it, they came with them. They are Bedouin. They are people of the desert. They have nothing to do with that area. They are not even ethnic. You know, the Arab is not an ethnic. Arab is a people of the desert. Whoever live in the desert, they call him Arab. Arab, Ar uh, Arab uh, uh, is a word in Aramaic mean desert. Arabian is a desert man. So if you live in Nevada, in USA, you are Arabian, based on the Aramaic language. So Arabian is not an ethnic. Many stupid people think that the word Arab is an ethnic uh, or a nation. They are not. Even Arabic does not even exist as a language. Arabic is a collection of languages developed through time and became a language by itself. But the second you read anything, like here, if you want to read in the Quran, you will find that everything in the Quran is coming from the Aramaic or maybe Ethiopian language or even Persian. It's a mix, but most of it is coming from the Aramaic. All right. Uh, I also want to talk about, well, uh, on once your stream, you I heard you saying that the Jesus was not like a hippie. The fake, fake Christians look him like a hippie. Uh -huh. and, what? and so, like, I I want to ask you, like, uh, does the Bible teach you to fight back to people who? Yeah, the Bible teach me. The Bible teach me even to go to war, uh, to fight the the wicked ones, and uh, even. Well, Jesus is not talking about an enemy at war. This is an, uh, someone is your neighbor is being filthy, rude to you, is being bad. So you know, teach him how to behave. But uh, in war, you know, we don't give hugs to the enemy. We make them shish kebab. So let me ask you, if somebody come in to rape your wife, do you give him a hug? No, no. What do you For give sure him? Not. What do you give him? I try to defend myself. What do you do exactly? Like, uh, fight him back. By doing what? By doing what? By doing what can you say? Are you afraid to say, if somebody is coming to rape my wife, I'm willing to make him shish kebab and pieces? Mm. Yeah, so, if somebody is coming, if somebody, this is loving your enemy, this is not about an enemy who is, we are at war at, at, and give him hugs and kisses, no. At war time, we send missiles, we send rockets, we shoot, and we do what war is about. Well, how you can love your enemy? The, the enemy you are talking about is not uh, somebody at war with you. 
The enemy is someone he is, he have enmity to you. Personal enmity. It's not about two nations fighting in war. So, however, if every human being practice the sentence of Jesus, then the enemies will not believe in enemies. Which means, if every one of us believe that there is no enemy, we love everybody, then the world become peace and the earth will become like heaven. Most of countries around the world, they spend a huge budget for the sake of defense, even in very poor countries. So imagine if we can save the budget of defense to make it for building schools, hospitals, educations, roads, uh, you know, uh, gardens, uh, uh, manufacturers. So everybody have a job, everybody have money, everybody have uh, his, uh, you know, his, uh, he have uh, enough for, for his livelihood. But sadly, reality is different. Reality is that if you are a good person, doesn't mean that everybody else is good. There is rapists, there is criminals, there is thieves, there is, uh, yeah. uh, you know... A bad guys to bully you in a school or college, what do you do? Do you fight back? What is what? Uh, what if a guy tries to bully you in school or maybe in college? So well, the one who will bully me, I will give him, yeah, the one who will bully me, I will teach him how to behave. Because the only way to fight a bully is not by giving him a hug, but by showing him who, who's he. As long as you allow him to bully you, you know, you will encourage him to do it. He will not stop until somebody give him what he deserves. So if somebody bully me, it never happened, nobody there. Uh, and I believe that when somebody bully somebody, they do because they think he's weak. Nobody will dare to bully someone they believe is strong. So it's your weakness, the reason for people to bully you. Yeah, but, uh, in some words, in the Bible, Jesus says, if they slap you, you give them your... This is not a bully. Cheek. This is not about a bully. This is about two people, they are fighting. There's a violence here. Bully is not violence. Bully is somebody, you know, making fun of you, etc. But here in the Bible, Jesus is not saying he can beat you, no. In the old days, in the Roman time, there was a law, if somebody hit you in a certain cheek, the police would arrest him. So, let him deal with the law. There is law in the country. We have police, we have judges, we have court. Um, Jesus himself was taken to court. And all of us, we knew the story. So, you live in a country, have a government. It's not a jungle. He beat you, you beat him back. So, this is not about allowing him to beat you. This is allowing being, being smart and let the law take your right from him. It's not about being allowing people to beat you. This is not what Jesus said. Jesus said, if you don't have a sword, go and buy one. What they would do with a sword? Cut the cheese? No. Obviously, if somebody want to do violence to to them, they will use it. And Peter, he have a sword with him. But when Peter used the sword in the wrong place, a police come to arrest Jesus. Jesus, he said to him, put your sword down. The one who lived by the sword, he died by the sword. Why? Because simply this is a policeman. This is not an, uh, a pirate. He is coming to kill and rape, etc. This is a policeman coming to arrest Jesus. He's doing his job. He's not a bad person. He's just doing his job. So in Christianity, nowhere it teach that we cannot have weapon. If I open my drawer for you, actually, why I want to open my drawer? Oh, I have one, one piece here. You know, I have them everywhere. You know, they are nice, beautiful, and they will not harm anyone unless he deserve somebody coming to hurt me, to kill me. Then I will give him what he deserve. Guns and weapons don't kill. People kill. So you can own a thousand swords, but you never harm anyone with them. But you can own no sword, but you can use a rock to kill somebody. You can drive a car to kill somebody. So if somebody want to be a criminal, he is a criminal, he will use whatever he can in order to kill. Having guns or having weapon does not make you a bad person. Anyway, my friend, thank you for joining us. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? Hmm? Erwan? Okay, Erwan, join us, Erwan. Put your hand up. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? 
Do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, Mayday. Go ahead, Erwan. Hello. Hello, Erwan. How are you doing? You are from Indonesia? Hello. You are from Indonesia? Hello. You are from Indonesia, my friend? Yes, I'm from Indonesia, GP. Okay. Well, Can you hear me? I hear you. What do you like to say to us? Wow, this is a very big blessing for me, talking to you. Uh, this is for the first time I talk to you, uh, CP. CP, thank you for answering me. So I need to ask uh, two questions only, All not right. to bother you. Okay. Okay. Well, first of all, how can I explain to the... You, you know, uh, Muslim is a big Muslim country, in the, even in the world. Uh. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, need, I need your help how to explain about the um, three in one to my Muslim friend in Indonesia. You know, you know I'm surrounding by... <laughs> surrounded by a limb. So I need the, the knowledge how how to explain them a more simple people that they can understand. La. And the second question is... One by one, one by one, yeah. one by one. You know, okay. uh, uh, I have uh, one of my cousins, he's an Arab, he joined a uh, logic class and he want to learn logic. He's from Saudi Arabia. The teacher Okay. So he asked the teacher, he said, sir, what is logic? So the teacher, he said to him, it's to know something from something else. My cousin said, I don't know what do you, what do you mean. He said, okay, I will ask you a question. And then based on the answer, I will tell you something which I do not know, which is true. He said, okay. So he said to him, do you have a chain in your house? My cousin said, yes. So the, the, the teacher said, as long as you have a chain, that means you have a dog. My cousin was shocked, like, what? How you know? And then the teacher said, as long as you have a chain, you have a dog, that means you have a garden yard. He said, yeah, we have a yard. He said, as long as you have a chain, you have a dog, you have a yard, that means you have a nice house. He said, absolutely, my cousin said. The teacher said, as long as you have a chain, you have a dog, you have a yard, and you have a nice house, well, this house is big and need a lot of work. My cousin said, wow, how you know that my house is big? He said, as long as you have a chain, you have a dog, you have a yard, you have a big house, now your mother is taking care of this house. He said, yes, absolutely, she take care of the house. He said, as long as you have a chain, you have a dog, you have a house, you have a big house, you have a mother taking care of it, that means she is a good woman. So now my cousin, he learned his lesson, that if you have a chain, your mother is good. So my cousin, he went in the street. He asked the first one he saw in the way, do your mother have a chain? Do you, do you have a chain? The guy, he said no. So he said to him, your mother is a whore. So my oh. cousin is so stupid to the point he think that the word chain, the, the lesson he learned about logic, <laughs> it worked this way. And this is what the Muslims are. So the Muslims, they are people who they have their own chain. If you don't give them the chain, they call you a whore, they call you names, they call you pagan, because they are stupid, they do not know what logic is. So the Muslim one, we ask him, how Mary, she have no husband, but yet she have a son? This is Allah is all capable. Okay, wonderful. Okay, how Jesus, he can resurrect people from death? Allah gave him miracles. Okay. How Jesus is alive until now? Allah made him alive for now. I mean, Allah, he can do everything. But Allah cannot be three and one. <laughs> so when they want, their logic disappear. When they want, they want to speak about logic. So to make it simple for you, there's nothing logical about God. That's why, we, that's why he's God. For me, it's logical if I take an airplane to be able to fly. Otherwise, I can't fly by myself. But God do not need an airplane. So if we go by logic, then let us use logic. Either we use it or we don't use it. Muslims are hypocrite. Why Allah have a why Allah have a hand? Muslim cannot answer. He have a hand. That's it. You know, but his hand is not like yours. Who cares if his hand like mine or not? He have a hand. Why he have a hand? They can't answer. So if you want to go by logic, then ask the same question about your God. If Allah is all powerful, 
and he is not a man. He did not came in a shape. Like my God, he came, he humbled himself. He came in the image of a man. So we can see him. Your God have a hands for what reason? He have five fingers for what reason? They can't answer. He have a shin, he have a foot. He walk, he run. He said, why? So when they want, their logic disappear. When they want, the logic is not required. For they are hypocrite and stupid dumb. Same time, the Trinity is very simple. This is how God he is. God is a three in one. Can you design God as you wish? Can you tell God what you can be, what you cannot? Do the Muslims ask Allah why you are even one, not two? They don't dare. He said he's one, he's one. That's it, they don't question it. What if the Quran says Allah is seven? They will say he's seven. So Muslims are hypocrites. That's why the Muslims don't debate us about Mary giving birth to Jesus without a man because this is in the Quran. But if it is not in the Quran, they will mean laughing at us. <laughs> Stupid Christians believe that a woman, she can give birth without having a husband. Stupid <laughs> dummy, you know. But because it's in the Quran, none of them dare to question it. So Muslims, it's not about logic. It's about their, they have rejection. For Muhammad, he said so. And if you go in the Quran, you will find that Muhammad, he confirmed another form of a three and one. As an example, <clears throat> the Messiah in the Quran is a three and one in the same time. Why? Why the Messiah only is a three and one in the same time? Muslims cannot explain to us. Let us read together. Uh, we will see that according to Muhammad, the Messiah is the word of Allah. And the word of Allah, which is the Messiah in this case, is a special. The Muslim, they try to fix it, they add things in the Quran, which is not. But let us see how they can fix that. In chapter 3, verse number 45, it says, The angel said, O Mary, Allah have give, give thee glad tidings of a word from him. His name will be the Messiah, the Christ, the son of Mary. Okay. What is the word? The Muslims, they say a word, a word from him. Well, this is what it says in the Bible, in the book of John, verse number one. In the beginning, it was the word, and the word was what God, and the word is God. And who is the Word? The Word of God is God. If we ask the Muslim right now, is the Word of Allah holy? They will say yes. Okay. Is the Word of Allah eternal? They will say yes. All right. Is the Word of Allah created? They will say no. Well, that is Jesus. He is the Word of God. So from the stupid Quran, is Muhammad the Word of Allah? No. Is Musa the Word of Allah? No. Abraham? No. Adam, no. No one in the Quran been described as the word of God. In the same time, the Messiah is a spirit proceeding from Allah, a word from Allah and the flesh, which means the word became a flesh. And this is a total agreement with John chapter 1, verse 1 and verse number 14. So the Quran confirmed that Jesus is not a created, neither He is like us, he is eternal, and he is holy. Three in one, that is Jesus, in their stupid book. If we read more, you know, we can find more like uh, things about, about uh, 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 three and one. Actually, the same verse, the same verse in the stupid Quran, it says, say no three, don't say three. It's the same verse using the word three to explain Jesus.
yeah. If you go in chapter 5, chapter 5, verse number 73, it says they disbelieve those who say Allah is the third of a three. But there's no deity except him. Okay, so those who say Allah is a third of three. And then if we ask the Muslims, who are the three the Christian believe on them? The Muslim will say to you, well, God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The stupid Quran say no. The Quran believe or teach that those who they are, uh, the Christians and the Jews, they believe, sorry, the Christians, they believe uh, that Mary is part of the Trinity, which is absolutely false. Not a single Christian believe in that. However, here we have something even more important. If you go to different verse in the Quran, you will find this. Just to show you that the author of the Quran is a mentally ill person. In chapter 5, verse number 17, it says, In blasphemy, indeed, are those who say that Allah is a Christ. Look what happened here. The donkey Muhammad, he just destroyed what he just said in the previous verse. And the previous verse says, that the Christian believe in three, and Allah is the third. But here he said the Christian believe in one, and he is a Christ, and he is Allah. <laughs> so now, if we if we say Allah is a Christ, so who is the three? Who is a Muslim can call us and tell us the name of the three? Because now we have who is the three? The Christian believe Allah is a Christ. This is what Muhammad said, it's in front of you, this is the Quran. This is the chapter of the table, which is supposedly Jesus, he to told Allah to send him five sandwiches of whales, because his disciples, they eat a lot. They said to him, Jesus, we are very hungry, huh? Come on, why you don't call Allah and send us uh, sandwiches? Allah did not send him falafel, according to the tafsir. He sent them five whales. Each one of them is in a, in a loaf of a bread. And this guy, Peter, his name is Peter. Man, this guy, he ate a wheel alone. Like, blah, blah, blah. blah. Peter, come on, stop. But uh, Peter, he cannot stop. I mean, it was so yummy. Seven wheels. I mean, it's a stupid story. So here you see how we stupid the author of the Quran. Because if the Christian believe in three gods, then why they believe that the Messiah is Allah? Remember, the Quran doesn't say, the, the, they say the Messiah is God. No, no, no. It says, in fact, it says Allah is the Messiah. Not God is the Messiah. No, Allah. Allah is the name of a person. This is the personal name of the God of Islam. So, say to them, Allah can destroy him. Well, obviously, Allah cannot. Some, same time, look how stupid this is, uh, answer is. If the people, they say, Allah is the Messiah and they are wrong, why you are saying, why you are threatening to destroy the Messiah? If you are trying to prove your, uh, your, your, your point that you can destroy the Messiah, what you did is the opposite. Allah, he saved the Messiah according to Muslims. He was not crucified. So the whole story of Islam is false. So for us, the Trinity... I cannot explain God and nobody can explain God. How God can be everywhere? Nobody can explain it. He's almighty. How God can resurrect us from death? Nobody can explain it. I mean, how how you say raised from death and everybody's raised? Can you explain it? Nobody can. Is that scientifically uh, explained? No. How Jesus can make the blind see by putting some mud in his eyes? Is that scientifically can be explained? Is that logical? No. How the Messiah can heal? There's a video of Mufti Mink. He says the Messiah, he move his hand. He just move his hands and thousands of people will be healed immediately. We did not give them medicine. Is that something you can explain? No. The only explanation, we say miracle. God is a miracle. So the Muslim is a hypocrite. Either you believe that God is a miracle or you don't. So if you want to understand God, then strip the word miracle. If you want to understand him in a logical way, the way you like, 
then strip the same description for your God and explain to us your God. Can you? Why Allah have a shin? They can explain. Why Allah he run? They can explain. Why Allah he forget? They can explain. Why Allah he have a chair? They can explain. Why he have a five fingers? They can explain. Why Allah have no spirit? But yet he says our spirit. They can't explain. Why Allah do not even understand the Trinity? I mean, a simple child who have 10 years old go to school, he will learn that the Christian believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. How Allah, he come to the conclusion that the Christians believe in three and one of them is Mary. And as you see, if the Messiah is Allah, there's no three no more. So obviously, in the time of Muhammad, the Christian believe that the Messiah is God. And the stupid Muhammad, instead of saying, I'm trying to understand him, trying to fix, to help him, uh, trying to help the Muslims. Instead of saying the Christian, they say Christ is God, he said, they say Allah is a Christ. However, we know in the Bible it says that Jesus says, I and the Father is one. The one who saw me, he saw the Father, correct? Yes, correct. So, Muhammad obviously is copying what the Christian they believe that the one who saw me, he saw the Father. I and the Father is one. But Muhammad replaced the word Father by the name of his God, the pagan God, Allah. And that make him in big trouble because now where is the tree? All right? All right. Anything else you want? Uh, okay, can I take one more question? All right. Uh, I have followed your, your video for the last three years, and I, I have been seeing that uh, to you there is no uh, work leader that defend Christian nowadays. But, uh, you know, uh, I see that uh, one, one leader from the Holland that get wilders looks like he, he keep defending uh, Christian. What do you think about this? Well, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know people, so I cannot judge. You see, I don't know him. You know, I, like this is a politician. And for me, I don't trust politician. We have to wait for the fruits, you know. Sometimes the tree look good, look green, have leaves. But never got to give a fruit. So let's see the fruits. Talk is cheap. You will see. Hmm? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, okay, thank you very much for your uh, answer, CP. But uh, please, uh, with all due respect, please pray for us, for Christian in Indonesia. You know, where our church is... Uh, Forced to, to close, and then I really need your pray for us to be. Share my books in Indonesian language with everybody and let us defeat the devil in the heart of Indonesia. And say to the Indonesian Muslims, Christian Prince is your nightmare. You will leave Islam, you like it or not. Millions of you. And this is why your Ustaz don't dare to call me. They make 5,000. This guy, his name is Ustaz Abdul Samud. Samud? $5,000 to make a speech. I do my speeches for free. I stay for hours for free. And I change this potato. Even if you don't know English, he can bring a translator with him. Many Indonesians speak English. He can bring a translator He's to debate right. me. And you will see how they will be defeated, them and their God, with no mercy. Yes, yes. Here we have a very famous uh, scholar in Indonesia. All right. Well, nobody will stop you. No, actually, there is a, there's a guy he challenged me. I don't know if you know him. He said to me, Christian Prince, I have five BMW for you if you can answer three questions. The first question, show me where in the Bible it says that Christ is a Christian. Look, what the heck? I mean, this is supposedly the smartest between the Muslims, stars in Indonesia. He wants me to show him in the Bible where it says that Christ is a Christian. Unbelievable. <laughs> And he want to give me five uh, five BMW, and he died too bad, too bad. I could not get them, you know. <laughs> it told me already passed away, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think he already passed away a couple of ago. All right, brother. Thank you very much for joining us. And say God bless you. and say happy happy Easter for Indonesia. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Happy Easter to you too. You're welcome. Do we have any Muslim? I say to the Indonesian Ustaz, I challenge you Orang Orang.
Who there? I have orang orang challenge for you. Uh, go you. The mic is yours, Mr. Y. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, if you can I ask you some question. Are you a Muslim? No. All right. Go ahead. Uh, so in the Quran, where uh, Allah said that He's the best of the creators. I uh, watched a video once uh, when you said uh, that someone was writing this. Then he saw, said uh, to Muhammad, uh, uh, Muhammad said to him, uh, like, uh, just wrote it down. He said, لَقَدْ نَزَلَتْ عَلَيْكَ Or something like that. Yes, Abdullah ibn Sarah, yeah, what about it? Uh, yeah, just uh, can you show me the source? Yeah, sure. Give me a minute. All right. <clears throat> okay, you can get disconnected, and I will I will post it in the chat. No problem. Uh, Let us see. <clears throat> so we have the story of Abdullah ibn Sarah. He was the scribe of Muhammad and he left Islam. And when Muhammad was giving him uh, uh, when he got when when he was re reciting Quran for him so he can write it down uh, he said blessed be Allah the best of the creators Muhammad told him to put it down the guy he said to him but I am I'm the one who said that not you he said yeah it came to me the same as it came to you so the guy, he decided to leave Islam because obviously Muhammad is a fraud. He is just copying what he just said first, claiming that this is a verse coming to him from his God, which is cannot be true because the guy is the one who said, uh, you know, he is the one who said that. Uh, let us show the reference. Actually, I will give you a link. This link here shows you, shows you tons of reference about that. You know, but maybe let's let's, let's find the official website first. And then he says, "Well, if Muhammad is telling the truth, well, obviously I'm a prophet like him, for I received Quran as he did." All right. Here we will see. I will post the link for you, and people they can post it in YouTube and Ramble if you don't mind, please. Is the link showing uh, in the chat? Let us see if we can use Google Translation. This is one of the books. This is in the to be. This, this is all over. It's not like necessarily one place. But just giving you an example. All right. So now we are translating the page to English, as you see. And this is the book of Asbab al Nuzul. Here it says that when the man, when Muhammad, he was saying, indeed, the man created from a lineage, and he arrived where he says, uh, we created him in other, I don't know, this is stupid uh, software, keep making Arabic. I know, I don't want to show the Arabic now. Yeah. So, uh, then Abdullah was amazed in the details of the human creation, and he said, Blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Ah, uh, stupid software. I cannot even highlight the thing. 
I don't know what to do with this thing. Here we go. I have to do it fast. And go, uh, okay. Abdullah was amazed at the details of the human creation. And he said, Blessed be God, the best of the creators. Then the messenger of Allah may bless him and grant him peace. Uh, uh, he said to him, Put it there. Uh, this is how it's revealed to me. <laughs> This is how it was revealed to me. So then the guy, this is scribe, he said to himself, well, if Muhammad is a prophet, well, I am a prophet too. Because it came to me first. And look what he said. This is the Google translation, but in Arabic it's way more clear. He said, if Muhammad is a truthful, then it had been revealed to me as it was revealed to him. And if he is a liar, then I have said as he said. That is his saying. And then the guy, he left Islam, as you see later, and he become a Christian. And then Muhammad, he command to kill him, whatever they find him. And this was the brother of Uthman ibn Affan, the caliphate himself. Am I heard, guys? All right, somebody says he cannot hear me. My friend, a Prophet Muhammad, he told us why. Shaitan, he slipped in your ears. He pissed, sorry. This is why Islam, I mean, this guy exposed Muhammad right away. This is his first hand witness. And you see, the Muslim they did not even deny that this would happen. How the guy he received Quran before Muhammad, and by Muhammad saying that actually he did get himself busted because how you Muslims claim this is a wrong sentence to add it in the Quran. If the Muslim believe in monotheism, then how you say he is the best of the creators? How many creators you have? The Muslim they say only one. So how it's possible? Allah is saying he is the best of the creators if there is only one creator. Especially he is talking about creating a baby. How the baby is made, which is very funny. How the baby is made in the Quran. Very funny, super funny, super stupid. Where the dead blood become a baby. And you will see in the Muslim translation, they try to fix it. They say the best to create. But this is absolutely false. The verse doesn't say the best to create. The verse says the best of the creators. You change the translator right away. You will see how they play with the translation. That's why you cannot trust. Anyone who trusts Islamic translation is a fool. Never trust Islamic translation. Otherwise, you are a fool. Because as you see, you just change the translator, the word create became a creators I mean that is impossible either it's a create or creators there's a huge difference between the two words and if Allah saying he is the best of the creators that means there's really creators and he is just the best so how does a stupid religion speak of monotheism yet Allah is the best of the creators Do we have any Muslim would like to join us? Any Muhammadan? How are you guys doing in YouTube? Are we doing good? I have a feeling today I'm going to convert to Islam. I want to go to bed and I have four wives. One is scratching my nose. The other one is scratching my toes. The third one is scratching... <clears throat> Uh, my fingers. Uh, the fourth one uh, is doing belly dancing. Take a beer. Orang, orang women. I want to be a Muslim. I want to have orang, orang Muslims, women. Every day, a lot of orang, orang. What is the link? What link? The link for the hadith, the one I showed you. You guys, nobody posting the link. Ah, the admins are not posting links. Ah, okay. I'm 
going to cut their salary. Do you know how much I pay my admins every month? <laughs> God believe it. I sometimes insult them. This is the payment number one. <laughs> sometimes I shout at them. This is payment number two. But remember, remember, brother, I'm a human. I'm just a human. Prophet Muhammad, he beat Muslims. And he make a condition on Allah. He beat them unjustly. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I don't do what Muhammad do because Muhammad used the F word when he beat them, you know. So Muhammad, he claimed that he is just a human brother. Huh? And uh, okay, you know, I beat uh, Muslims unjustly. Uh, let us see. Look at this wisdom. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. The Prophet Muhammad, he was an amazing man. Perfect, perfect man in Quraysh. Perfect man. I don't know what happened to the page. It's not moving. Move. It's not moving. Oh, don't crush on me. All right. Let me try to post a link for you until this one open. I think I need to shorten the link. Link shorten. What's happening? My internet is not functioning. Let us do it again. Link shorten. All right. All right, this is a short link. I will post it in Rambor. And you will have it in YouTube. Those who they are in uh, uh, in Discord. Actually, I think Rambor do not need shorting for it. But here we go. As you see here, Muhammad, because he's a nice person, a wonderful man, a man of God, he is beating the Muslims, whipping their back with leather belt, very harmful beating. And he injured them, claiming that he made a condition on Allah that anyone who he beat him unjustly and curse him unjustly, may Allah make it a blessing for him. Can you believe it? This is a prophet of God. Is it? He go in the street cursing people, beating people unjustly? Is that what men of God do? Yeah, for some reason this stupid website is not functioning right. <laughs> do you see the title? Whoever is cursed, revived or prayed against by the Prophet, when he does not deserve it. <laughs> he does not what? Deserve it. <laughs> and why you do such a thing? Why you do beat people who don't deserve it? Allah did not guide you? Huh? Allah was not guiding Muhammad when he was doing that? So now I can go in the street and beat people and say, you know, I put condition on God. If I beat somebody unjustly, he will give you a return blessing. Is that what God is about? Cool. Go ahead. Go. I'm muted. You are okay, not. Okay, 
Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, hi, hi guys, doing greetings, everyone. Greetings, CP. Uh, I want to share uh, important information, actually. Information about what? Uh, about uh, about Islam. About uh, how well, not how to debunk them, but it's, it's just uh, it's, it's I, I believe critical information. So it, it goes uh, about by the following. Um, if we look at the six earliest earliest Quranic manuscripts, mm -hmm. we found out that none of them are actually from the seventh century. Two, none of them are complete. Three, none of them completely agree with each other. Four, none of them completely agree with the current hafs that we have uh, nowadays. Five, all of them have hundred and, well, to be exact, uh, 93,000 uh, of subsequent uh, manuscript variants. So there, there's a lot of different things. So now, where was the complete Quran ever made? First of all, those, those, those are not, there's, there's no proof of those are existence anyway. I mean, those are just, they call them manuscript. They are not. Because... You know, to call something manuscript, it have to be very close uh, to the time of the the author. Uh, those are just collection of books. Quran does not exist. There's no. There's where, where is the book of our Hafs? Nobody have Hafs. Nobody. Hafs never even wrote a book. Hafs never wrote a book. You know. So so the Muslims. So the Quran doesn't exist, really, right? They, they don't have any Quran. No, they don't. You know. If you remember, there's, there's a guy, his name is Uthman, the fool. He uh, he went, uh, a Christian from Pakistan, he uh, challenged the Muslims in uh, San Diego, in the park. He said, who can give me the the book of Uthman, can show me? A print of it, for sure, not the original. The stupid, mm -hmm. this guy, Uthman, he went and he, uh, he he got a book in his hand. And he said, give me the $5,000. I want the $5,000 now. Here we go. You challenge everybody. Then when they open the book, which is in his hand, it says, in the same book he have in his hand, it says, this book no way can be considered the book of Othman. <laughs> wow. That's <laughs> yeah. crazy. Yeah. So, and so and I want to share something too, additional to uh, Christians. Uh, all right. Um, I've heard that Muhammad is actually a title which means, as you know, we know it means a praise one. And actually, and like you said, Muhammad was in, uh, the, the, the man, it was, his name was, I don't know, Khatam or something like that. I, 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 don't, I don't recall it exactly. Yeah. But uh, actually, I heard that Muhammad was Jesus because Jesus was the praise one. Yeah, but this is an insult. You know, I heard some Christian, they are saying, trying to explain the Quran. I believe but this it's is a title, bro. It's, no, no, it's no. not really an insult. It's a title. No, if you, no. If you know no, what I mean, you no? can say. Or correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me. Yeah, but we, you cannot say that Muhammad is Jesus. Don't say that. You know, uh, Muhammad is trying to steal the title from Jesus. Yes, but if yeah, somebody, I mean, as a title, no. Sorry to cut you. Oh yeah. So don't say Muhammad. Yeah, because Muhammad is Jesus is an insult. You know, Jesus is not a child molester. He's not a criminal. He's not a thief. No, no, no. Yeah. I, 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 I know that part. Yeah. But uh, what about the fact that it's a title, and it, which means the praise one, and who's exactly. the praise one? Because if Muhammad is the praise Jesus one, was the praise one. The, but Jesus was the, if sorry, Muhammad, sorry. the the first question should be, that, yes. uh, don't, uh, don't let us not to mix between Jesus and Muhammad now. If Muhammad, okay. if the Muslim believe in monotheism, how even Muhammad can be called Muhammad? Because this is against monotheism in the way what Muslim they claim. I don't understand. But if, if Jesus is the, uh, you mentioned Jesus, if he is the praised one because the Trinity yeah. is one God. But, but Jesus is God, no? Yeah, but if Muhammad is not God, so how Muhammad is the praised one? Uh, the praised one should be given to Allah if he is God, not to Muhammad. So if the praised one is Muhammad, so who is praised number two? Allah? Yeah. Well, from what I heard, CP, is that there's a guy named Abdul Malik, mm -hmm. uh, which was he, he was a, a caliphate in the time of the Abbasids, if I, if, if I don't mistake, he, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. And he came with that, and actually, Muawiyah himself was a Christian man, because if we if, if you go look in the uh, well, the uh, the, uh, the archaeologists. 
uh, when they found the uh, traces of Muawiyah, uh, they found they found coins that he had, and and on this coins it was written uh, in the name of the praised one, and there was a cross. How come? Well, I don't believe in those. Uh, you know, you see. Uh, for us as a Christians, it's better not to debate Muslims about something they don't believe in because it's a waste of time. Now, historian, they can prove. No, no. You know, if I have coins, if I have coins, and mm. if you find mm. coins in my drawer, it says Muhammad is prophet. Doesn't make me Muslim. You know. Uh, so we. Uh, this is not an evidence of anything. And if they want to say that he is the one who made the coin, we do not know who made the coins. If 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 they are exist. This is not the way to debunk Islam. For me, I know that like, people like J, people like J. Smith and others, they go yes. in that direction. For me, I find it a waste of time. It's not worth it. I debunk Why? Islam because simply it's like somebody's an atheist. He said to you, Jesus does not exist. I laugh. I don't even listen. It's a waste of time. For me, I'm not going to listen. A Muslim, he won't listen to this too. So if you want to debunk a Muslim, Debunk him about something he believe in, not something, not conspiracy uh, theory, not uh, you know uh, maybe true, maybe not. Debunk him in his belief. When you debate people, debate him in their belief, not in the not about the moon, uh, uh, like uh, uh, you know somebody living in the moon he is making stories, and maybe they are true, maybe they are true, but I believe it's true personally. I don't believe. I, believe I, I don't believe it's true. Okay. I don't. Well, it's okay. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Be because simply, uh, you know, Muawiyah, if he was a Christian, so why he was killing the Christians? <laughs> I mean, come on. You know? I mean, this is even silly. So sometimes people, they get silly, and they don't use a simple logic. Muawiyah was a criminal. Filthy criminal. Those, where, 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 where can we find that uh, a definitive proof that he actually exists as a Muslim that he killed uh, Christians? No, well, that's my question. They are the one who com who made the the, the the church a mosque. <laughs> Why the Christian would make a church a mosque? <laughs> so this is silly, my friend. It's just a waste of time. For me, I don't go in that direction because it's not right and it's not smart, and it just uh, you know uh, you know like. Uh, okay. Uh, make, making things up, even though they believe in it, I don't. I don't. I'm not saying they are lying, uh, but it's not right. It's not true. Uh, okay. Well, lastly, la la lastly, one thing I want to add. Uh -huh. Me Mecca never really existed. No, not really, ne never really existed. It, it exists uh, as we speak. We know that. But the place that Me Mecca was the place of revelation. That's not true because there are proofs that uh, Mecca itself, that they, they claim it to be Mecca, it was Petra. Do you believe in that or no? Uh, I don't think it's about and Petra. It's true, it's true. Matthew Luther Latane, Matthew Balabek, and there's Ramzu Masjid too that's uh, in China. They, they were all facing <coughs> not Mecca but Petra for the for the first time when they when they said that they were so called uh, the Qibla was so called in Jerusalem. But when you actually look at it uh, like in, in, in details. It, it, uh, it's towards Petra. Okay. You see, all of those are theory, right? There's no... No, they're not theory. They are. Proof. No, there's no proof. If you, if you want, what can I say? Okay, okay, but we, we, will, go, we will go step by step. Uh, okay. uh, you see, in the Quran, uh, mm -hmm. it says the word Al-Masjid Al-Haram. No. Okay. What is it? What the word masjid mean? Do you know? Masjid, uh, ma'anahu, uh, a place of, of recruitment, no? A masjid is a place where people they bow down to recruit, to, to recruit, no? No, to bow down. No, the word, oh, okay. I, the word masjid, okay. the word message, masjid, uh, mm -hmm. is a place where you it coming from the word sujud, which means bowing ah, down. At the, at the uh, sujud, okay. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, if you go in the Quran, let's go here. Al Masjid Al Haram. What am I being English?
All right. You will see here in chapter 2, verse 144, it says, Al-Masjid al-Haram, which means the second uh, place of bowing down. Chapter 2, verse 149. Uh, chapter 2, verse number 150. Uh, chapter 2, verse 191. Uh, all of those is mentioning Al-Masjid al-Haram. Masjid, the Muslim now translate as the word mosque in English, but the word in Arabic, masjid is a place where you bow down. It doesn't matter where it is. So, but there is here the word sacred. Sacred. If we go to the different verse in the Quran, the, all the verses in the screen, you can later view the video, you know, all those verses. Yeah. Yeah, all those verses, as you see, they are highlighted in yellow. And the verse, yeah. the verse number is in the right side of the screen, so you can check the name. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, yeah. yes. All right. Then we will go to the from verse in the Quran, and we will go to the Quran itself. Let us see. Hold on. Let's close this page here. Uh, many pages are open. Okay. We go to the Quran, and then we will look for the word Asra. You remember the story of Muhammad going to Jerusalem, right? Oh, yes. All right. But in the uh, in the story, nowhere it says that he went to Jerusalem. Uh, That's true. Yeah. But we That's will like find... Etc., no? But you get to? Yeah, hold on. Like, yeah, just I'm, tra I'm trying to connect the dots together so we can, you know. Wow. Chapter 17, verse number 1. It says, Praise be the one who depart or remove his slave at night from the sacred place of worship of bowing down to the farther place of bowing down. Oh, yes. All right. So here the Muslim they say this is about Muhammad, chapter 17, verse number one. Mm -hmm. All right. But in fact, have nothing to do with Muhammad. You it's, said it was about Musa, right? It's about Musa. Read the verse after it, right away. It says, We gave uh, into Moses. We gave yes. into oh, Moses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, who is the one who moved from the second place, which is the place of going down, is Moses. Moses, he met, he's, you know, he, uh, God, he appeared to him in the Mount of Sinai, correct? Mm -hmm. That is the first place of bowing down. The exactly. So, praise be to who? The one who gave him salvation from who? From the Pharaoh. So, he departed him at night. You will see it says at night. At night. No, no. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Why at night? Because they were running away from the Pharaoh. Okay. All right. If we go to the front verse, let us see. Let us see, uh, let us go here. Uh, let us actually copy the same here statement just to show you how, how Islam is very stupid and how Muslims they get wrong understanding of their own book. Do you see the two verses? Yes, I do. Chapter 44, verse number 23. And chapter 17, verse number 1. 17, the Muslim, they claim about Muhammad going to the sky and then going to Jerusalem. But nowhere, by the way, it says he went anywhere to, to, to the sky, right? But in, no. verse, in verse number 44, it says this. فأسرى, فأسرى بعبادي, you see, it's the same word. Laylan. This is the command of Moses to go from uh, uh, Egypt mm -hmm. at night escaping the Pharaoh saving the nation of Israel so here when the Muslim they say this about Muhammad obviously the Muslims are the last one to be connected with 
uh, with what in the Quran is saying. The Quran is not talking about the Kaaba. Never mentioned this is the, the Kaaba. The Quran is talking about the there is two places here. First one is where Moses he uh, he he uh, God appeared to Moses, and there is verses in the Bible in the Old Testament about God says to Moses, "Don't let the priest get even close." That is a forbidden mm -hmm. land. If somebody can post for us the verses, if you don't mind, in the Old Testament. So this is a forbidden land. Don't pass. Don't pass. God says to Moses, don't tell them not to pass. Moses says to God, I told them they will not. Why? Because this is a holy ground. This is a holy ground. Nobody is allowed to enter it. And that is the sacred place of worship, which the Quran is talking about. So, it's a forbidden place. It's not the Kaaba. It's not Mecca. Mm -hmm. Have nothing to do with Mecca. It is yeah. the Mount of Sinai. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now he is going from where? He is going from the Mount of Sinai to the farther mosque. That is the temple in Jerusalem. Mm. All right. That's how we get it. Yeah. Yes. So, so this is not okay. this is not about Petra. This is about two places. One is the Mount of Sinai. Muhammad, he learned from the Jews now that God, he spoke to Moses in a certain location. And that is the forbidden place where God, he forbid the Jews from entering the land. You know? Why he forbid them from, from entering, like to pass a certain line in the land, not the whole land. This is not about uh, entering Jerusalem now, no? This is about uh, the land where God, he appeared to, to Moses and he told them that this is the, be aware that you don't go to the mountain touch the border if you go to the book of Exodus chapter 19 uh, let me try to open it give me a second uh, let us see here <clears throat> but by the way when I mentioned Petra uh, I wasn't mentioning it in, in that context I was mentioning Petra in the context like there were some scholars mentioned or even in the Quran Mentioning that there's a, like uh, Ajjad, wa, wa Nahar, but we know that Mecca, there was never water there, and even like there was no vegetation for the last 10,000 years. Yeah, yeah, you see, this in Mecca is not. It, uh, so that's a proof that Mecca is, was never the place where the Prophet was. No problem. But you see, so what, when, I, Petra, when I debate Muslims, my friend, when I debate Muslims, yes. I don't involve. I don't involve my heavy knowledge with someone is Abdul. They are donkeys. They don't know what we're talking about. So I don't go, like, do you see me speaking to Muslims about this? I don't. Why? Because it's too much for their head. Yeah, I'm going to share it with you. Yeah, I understand. You don't even know better than you. I understand. But but uh, uh, I share it with you now. Uh, we cannot open the page. I share it with you now because simply uh, you mention it. And uh, there's a time to mention those things where people, they can understand what we are talking about. Let me see if I can post it again. Uh, so God, he forbid them. There's a border where you cannot pass. Let us uh, zoom in. And thou shalt set bounds into the people around, round about. This is a border. You cannot pass. This area is a holy ground. Mm -hmm. The second place of worship, perhaps they bow down. Take, uh, hid yourself, uh, 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 not up to the mount, or touch the borders. Whosoever touch the mount shall be surely put to death. So this is the second place of worship and bowing down. It's a second. You nobody can enter it. It is totally forbidden. So when the Muhammadan they read a verse in their stupid book. As usual, Muhammadan is the last one to know what the Quran is talking about because they are disconnected with the religion. They are just people who follow scholars who they themselves do not know anything. You know, they call them yeah, scholars yeah. because... I was like that myself, brother. Like, I was Muslim for 17 years. Well, yeah. I still, you see, it's, it's, it's still in me. Slowly, it's going, you know, it's going away. You, know, but, oh, you are an ex-Muslim. Yeah, you are an ex-Muslim. No, nah, I was converted, yes. I was ah, converted. Okay. You converted to Islam for, for you became a Muslim for seventeen years. Yeah, when I was eighteen, I, I converted and uh, yeah, and, and, and I did a, a, a whole lot of parkour. I I studied fiqh, 
I studied Nahu, Saf, or Kushi Dari, you know, and uh, yeah, it, it, was a, it was a good prophecy because now I, I'm armed to defend myself against their ignorance. Exactly. Well, I hope you will learn, you will, you will use what you learn then. As long as you learn English, you learn Arabic, so you will be able to uh, to expose their their lies is better. And I hope I was yeah. able to give you an answer for. So for me, uh, you know, even yeah. if I approve the Muslim, like mm -hmm. what I said now, I would I would use only their document. I don't use uh, a, a historian, you know, because they can deny. But, they will go deaf. They will go deaf with it. Here. Okay. They will go deaf with it, you know. It's, it's, it's those <laughs> those people believe in drinking common urine. You know what? What do you think so? So, if they, if they are willing to drink piss just because Muhammad says so, and they don't even know. Like Muhammad says so, we don't know. But somebody says Muhammad says so. You see, the Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites. They claim that you should not accept the Bible of John because written 15, 50, 60 years after Jesus, but they accept mm -hmm. a hadith collected more than three hundred years after Muhammad. And they don't even well, Bukhari. That's what I'm saying. Bukhari. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, nobody have a book of Bukhari. Bukhari never wrote books, by the way. Muslim, like when we see, no. when we show, when we show uh, the Hadith says Muslim, Sahih Muslim. Well, there is no Sahih Muslim. No, there is no book. So they don't have Bukhari. They don't have Muslim. So what is what was left? They don't have Quran. What do they have? They have nothing. They have somebody in Sayyid, 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 from Sayyid to Sayyid that the Prophet says so. <laughs> All right, my brother. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you again, Christian friend, and God bless you, and God bless everyone in the chat, and I love you guys. Happy I Easter. Guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay, All right, do we have any Abdul would like to join us? Until now, no Abdul come in to convert me to Islam so I can get uh, the versions. I'm so interested in the versions. And I want to be sure they are virgin. The first day I enter the heaven of Allah, I will take with me shampoo. I will put them, I will mix the shampoo in the shower, in the in the bathtub. And I will force every one of those virgins to sit down. If any bubbles came out, I will return her immediately to Allah. Bu 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 bubbles? Okay, you are not a virgin. You would, yeah, no, 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 no. Don't tell me this is gas, this is... No, you know? listen, bubbles don't lie. The bubbles, you know. So we will put them, because you cannot trust the heaven of Allah. I mean, Allah himself, he says, how I can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Allah in the Quran says, if I want to have a partner, a son, I will take it from us. You read the interpretation, they say the virgin. So Allah right now having sex with them. Bubbles is the solution. Unless they are doing version again surgery, which is very popular in the Middle East. Any Muhammadan? Like, you know, in the Middle East, you see women, they sleep with everybody. And then, some, like one day, she got a, like a guy, she convinced him to marry her. And then they go to the usually neighbor country, doesn't matter what neighbor country. And they make, they go to the clinic, they don't ask you your name, they don't ask you anything, no private information. But you have to pay good money. And they make a little surgery in her private part and they make her virgin again. Subhanallah. And then when she entered the bedroom with the guy, she looked at his private part. She said, from all the penises I saw in the world, this is the best. And now he knew for sure she is a virgin. This will remind me of Aisha when she said, who of you, his penis is like the prophet of Allah? How Aisha she knew? Hello? I mean, are you a Muslim, my friend? Sorry, my name is Ivan Tov. Okay. Sorry, my name is Tov. My, fr my friend, I, can, I cannot hear you. You are using the internet of the neighbors. Fix your internet and come back. Aisha who is supposedly a virgin, she was bragging about the balls and the testicles and Muhammad penis, that Muhammad is the best chapter clarifying the kissing when fasting is not unlawful for the one who desire not to provoke by that. So now the prophet, Aisha, she said to them, he used to kiss me while observing the fast. In fact, the, the hadith says, 
he used to suck her tongue. He's what? Suck her tongue, you see? I mean, Muhammad is, from that time they suck tongues. You know, this is not a French movie or... Okay. And who among you can control her desire like Muhammad? How Aisha she knew? I mean, the guy, if he control his desire, why he is sucking your tongue? And he is fasting now. Can't he wait? Is that the person who controls himself? So now Muhammad is controlling himself. Uh, excuse me. If you have children around, mute the uh, speaker, you know. Do you have any children here? Anyone under the age of uh, 18? If you are a Muslim, if you are six and older, you are a mature according to Muslims. I don't know, you know. So now Muhammad, Aisha, she's bragging about how he controlled himself. The Prophet, he used Yubashir, Yubashir, which, what, what Yubashir mean? Yubashir, he start doing boom, boom, but he don't do it to the, like, he's, he started, you know? Uh, Go ahead, uh, Faith. Go ahead, Faith. Are you a Muslim? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Are you? Uh, I, I, I was saying... If a Muslim can call us and give me three questions which would like me to ask him about Islam and that will make me convert to Islam. Do you, do you can, can you give me three questions about Islam to ask you? You do this every day, bro. Huh? You do this every day with everybody. Did I say what? What are you trying to gain? What are you trying to gain? Try to gain? I want to convert to Islam and get in less penis of the prophet. Nobody's gonna listen to you. Just, uh, just the same way we feel. The way you feel, we feel the same. What does that mean? Nobody will listen to me, but you are here to listen to me. That's smart. It's the same way you feel like you're right. That's how everybody else feels as well. I don't care if you feel right or not. This is not about how you feel. This is about what it is. So if you feel you are it's right, same. if you feel you are healthy, you have. my friend, if you feel. It's the same mindset you have. That's the same mindset that everybody has. No problem. No problem. You, you. You feel you are healthy, but you are not healthy, then you, your feeling is wrong. So now, can you prove to me that you are right? Okay, as an example, as an example, you know, when your prophet, he command, you see, I ask you to ask me the questions about Islam, but you refuse, but, so I will have to give you my question. When you, when you, no problem, no problem. When you, when your prophet, he command, when your prophet, he received from Allah, Verses about the breast feeding for adult. What was the purpose of that? In in Matthew it says this. Don't change, don't change the topic. We can uh, go to Matthew after we finish here. You know. So you can say whatever you want, but I'm asking you. What was the days, what uh, was the purpose? What the what what was the purpose of ten time breast feeding for adult? Also, it says that the earth is flat as well in the Bible. So you, can, you, can, you're, you're, uh, you can you can you can change the topic as you wish but not with me you have to help me oh, i'm trying to, i'm trying yeah, to understand okay. Yeah, okay. what what okay. kind okay. what kind of god one, what one kind of god okay so you don't want to talk I, I don't know i don't know okay no, don't don't waste my time no, 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 you don't understand science anything okay bye, bye, bye. you know you are a coward okay. you don't dare to talk about the topic what kind of God he gave this? Uh, Ten time breastfeeding for adult. What for? What the purpose? And how a woman she gave her breast to a stranger? And how the goat ate it? You are busy with Matthew? What Matthew he said you can go and they give your breast to a stranger? Is that what Matthew said? So Matthew con concern you, which is teaching good teaching, but this is, does not concern you that your mother now she have to give her breast to the neighbor? An adult growing man? And this was in the Quran and now we cannot find it because the goat ate it? And let us assume that the goat ate the verse. Did the goat ate your memory? So let me tell you what happened, Abdul. You ate the verse, not only the goat. You were ashamed of the stupidity of Muhammad making fun of you and you decided to delete it from the Quran. You must then delete this verse. Because if the goat ate the verse, the goat did not eat the memory of every Muslim. Did she? Meh. Anthony, the mic is yours. What do you want to say to us? 
हेलो इमानुएल So the word Ila, the 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 last letter is not even pronounced. Ila. This is not Allah. Allah is a different word. Allah A L is Il. Is Il in the new in the new Hebrew? Uh, there is Il in the old Hebrew. It was Al, and both of them they are coming from the Aramaic. So if you go in the Quran, like in 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 the Bible too, you will find that it says Emmanuel. In the old Hebrew, it was Emmanuel. Israel was Israel. Daniel, Daniel. Mikael, Mikael. All those names, Ishmael, Ishmael. So all the words il end with il or start with il. They are al. Now, if we go in the Quran, we will find the same word al exists in the Quran, starting from chapter number one, verse number one and two. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. If you ask the Muslim, they will say to you, Allah is a name of God. The word Ila, the one you are talking about, is not a name. It's just the word mean God. So whoever says that to you is a fool. Secondly, if you go to verse number two, Sheikh Uthman, hello. Sheikh Uthman is a potato. This is why you don't dare to talk to me. Sheikh Uthman, he says the word Allah diverted from the word Ila. Correct. Yes, okay, that, uh, but but that mean, but that means their God have no that means their God have no names. That means when the Muslim they say Shahada, they should not say there's no God but Allah. They should say there's no God but God. If the word Ilah is the word Allah, which means God, so why you say there's no word, no God but Allah? You should say there's no God but but God. <laughs> so, and also saying that uh, Abraham also spoke Aramaic. For sure, spoke Aramaic, but what does have to do with this? Uh, uh, they didn't say Allah. Allah does not exist. Allah is exist in the Aramaic language. This is true. Exist for the pagan, the pagan who worship the moon god. There's two famous gods in the Arabian Peninsula and in the desert of Iraq. Allah, which means God Lah, which is the moon god, and Akbar. Akbar, like this, is why you see that. Abraham in the Quran, he worship a God, his name, Akbar. He said, this is my Lord. This is Akbar. And he spoke and he says that only about the sun. Chapter 6, verse number 78. The Muslim, they translate the word Akbar as a greater, which is false. Because if the word the greater, greater in which way, you know? I mean, he 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 saw the, the he saw the star, you know. He saw uh, like a, a star. He start worshiping it. He says, "This is my Lord." But when the star set, he said, "I love not things that they set, which is said is stupid," because here, based on those three verses, chapter six, verse numbers 76, 77, 78, Abraham, when he worshipped the star, the moon, and the sun, when they set, he said. I don't associate myself the one who said, the one who disappeared. But Allah never appeared to him, according to the Quran. Allah never spoke to Musa, sorry, never appeared to Abraham. So how Abraham, he refused to believe in three gods already he worshipped, which is a star, and the moon, and the sun, which is called Akbar. As you see, هذا ربي. فلما رأى الشمس بادغة قال هذا ربي هذا أكبر This is أكبر So what Muhammad did He merged between the two gods The major gods in the Arabian Peninsula Lah, the moon god And Akbar That's why the Muslims they say Allahu Akbar Who Akbar Who in Arabic mean ant 
According to the Muslim's interpretation, it is Isaac. <laughs> but they are saying that uh, Ishmael was the one who sacrificed. Uh, well, you know, the well, then tell them, give me your proof if you are truthful. The Quran says, so the Muslims, when they say things, they have to prove it. Like, uh, can this guy, uh, uh, Uthman, dare to call me? You don't dare, you know, uh, because I will get him busted in a second. Uh, Al Burhan, you know, the Burhan of the Muslims, let's say, go, uh, if we go to the to the verse. The word Qurban appear in the Quran many times, giving sacrifice. But the major Qurban, the first Qurban, or which means sacrifice, was given by the children of Adam. And Allah, He made a condition on the Jews not to accept anyone to be a prophet unless He give a Qurban. Chapter 3, verse number 183. Then the Quran, uh, then the Quran, speak about the story of uh, Abraham and the story of Abraham explained by the Muslims if we go and read the explanation of the Muslims we will find that the most accurate explanation according to Muslims not me who is saying the most accurate according to the scars is Isaac let me show you some reference okay, okay I it, sir. No, no, I don't want just to say things. I like to show reference. So people, they can see what we are talking about, you know. This is the official government website. I will put it for you on the screen. Give me a, a second. This is the most famous... Uh, Interpretation for the Quran at Tabari, and we can show other interpretation, no problem. And as you see, we are not showing Christian interpretation; we are showing Muslim interpretation. Here it says, "Wafadinahu bidabhin alim." This is the Quran, as you see in the front of us here, uh, starting from uh, a, a, a chapter of as Safat, and from verse one o seven. 103, 105, etc. Uh, in 107 it says, We ransom him with a great sacrifice. Read with me here what it says in Arabic. And we ransom Isaac by, 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 uh, by a sacrifice. Read the translation. This is the Muslim interpretation, not mine. You know? I will translate the page. Uh, translation not working. Let us see again. Translation. Well, it's not... Okay, now finally. Okay. So here it says, and we ransom... Let us see, ransom who? Do you see it says, and we ransom Isaac? Do you see it on my screen? Hello? Yes, sir. I okay. can see. But isn't it this is the Muslim yes, but isn't it this is the Muslim translation, Muslim uh, uh, books? Oh. Isn't it this is a Muslim book? Okay. And you will see yes. that and then there is tons of reference, even Ibn Ishaq, Ikrama. They say it is Isaac. Read carefully if you go down. They mention that this is Isaac. Read how many times. If I, if I type the word Isaac now, uh, this is stupid software keep highlighting in Arabic. Uh, I know what to do with it. Oh, man, this is annoying. I can't even copy highlight the, the, 
I have to do it fast. Okay. Stupid. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> okay. Let us try to do this. I can't even high, you know, uh, 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 highlight the word. I have to use this software to translate the page, but I can't do. You guys don't speak Arabic. Okay. So, I will use I will use the search. Look how many times the word Isaac appear. Do you see it? All of this in, in their book it says Isaac, Isaac, Isaac. So actually it says that 38 time in the same interpretation. He is Isaac. All those are the reference. Do you see it? All those are heavy duty campaign of Muhammad. They say this is the son who is Isaac. Look how many times. Isaac, 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 Isaac. So Isaac is the one they sacrifice, and all those are reference. And we can show tons of reference, not only uh, uh, this, you know, and this is their books. So the Muslims agree, unless they are YouTubers, you know, potatoes, you know, they can say whatever they want. But when you when we talk about high uh, uh, standards scholars for Muslims, the, high, the one who their books is taught in universities, not those potatoes in YouTube, they will say to you, it is Isaac. All right? Okay. All right, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Never learn Islam from Muslims. They are a bunch of dummies. Prove me wrong. I never saw a Muslim. He is not a dummy. They are dummy to the point they go around the Kaaba. Certain time you ask them why they don't know. They are dummy to the point. If you remember once I went to a Muslim website, I think it's called Convert to Islam something. I chatted with them. I even recorded the chat I posted on YouTube. I don't know if you have it. I asked them, I have a question. Why Prophet Muhammad, he is the black stone? The guy took him, I don't know, 10 minutes to answer back. He says, because it's holy. Okay. So I asked him, and why it's holy? Took him another 10 minutes, and he says, because the Prophet kissed it. <laughs> you have no answer. Because if he give you the answer, right away you will note that Islam is a pagan cult. According to Muhammad, black stone is a holy stone which erase sin. Erase what? Sin. So the black stone is became Allah. The Quran says, you know, and who forgives sin save Allah? Nobody. Supposedly. But suddenly, if you touch the black stone, It erase your sin. What kind of religion we are talking about? What is this? So if you go back here, you will see this. Let us show you some uh, reference. <laughs> Uh, let us uh, sometime this website take forever show you everything like except the word like the one you want all right let us see here we go oh Abu Abdul Rahman a guy is named Abu Abdul Rahman why do I only see you touching those two corners he said I heard the messenger of Allah say is touching them a race sin. Do you see it? He did not dare to say to me, the prophet says touching them a race sin. He told me that the prophet he kissed the black stone because it's holy. Then I said to him, why it's holy? He said, because the prophet kissed it. 
if you remember before, we mentioned to you that the Arab before Islam in the time of Muhammad they used to go naked around the Kaaba. Actually, the Hadith says that. The Muslim reference confirm that the black stone became a black because women, they touch their vagina when they have their period and then they place their hand inside the black stone. In fact, the black stone is made in a shape of a vagina. Let me show you. This is a very sexual cult. Mostly it's coming from the Hindus. Where the Hindus, they have in their temple a penis and a vagina. Do you see it? Let me see if the image is coming clear to you. Uh, maybe I need to find different image because maybe you don't see it in full in YouTube. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, but anyway, you can search it yourself and you will see that obviously the black stone presents something not right. Why it's made in such a shape? I mean, you can have all kind of shape. Why it is in the shape of a vagina? Uh, maybe this one can come better. Let me give me a second. I'm just, uh, you know, looking for a black stone image, which we can show it to you better. In fact, by the way, the black stone is gone. There's no black stone no more. There's no black stone. I mean, the stupid Muhammad, he claimed that the black stone is going to witness for Muslims in the day of judgment too. But the black stone is gone. In fact, like the bad thing about the software cannot zoom in the same as the other software I used to use to... Uh, uh, I can't even find let me see there's tons of images in front of me but I'm trying to find the other one who can I make it clear for you uh, okay. I mean, how lucky I am. There's a billion picture. Any hey guys, you 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 look you look for it. Just type the black stone. You know. Yeah, each time I, I click at the image, it turned to be smaller. Like you see it in the search, is good. Uh, I want something I can I can uh, zoom in it. But anyway, uh, when the Muslim book says that they used to go around the Kaaba totally naked, the first question you need to ask yourself: What was the religion? Is a practice there. Until now, the Muslims, in case you do not know, Muslims, they have to go naked around the Kaaba. When I say naked now, what they are doing, they just change it a little bit and they wear a sheet. 
but they are underneath naked, totally naked, totally naked. And their clothes is exactly the same as the clothes of the Hindus. Go check how the Hindus they dress, especially the Hindus priest or Buddhist. So, uh, let us see here. Give me a minute. <clears throat> All right. Maybe we can find this one here. Because this is Al-Bukhari. It should be a better one. <clears throat> As you see, they used to go what? Totally naked. And you will notice that Muhammad never mentioned one word against this. Shouldn't Muhammad be the first one to speak against it? Never. People going around the Kaaba totally naked. Men and women wearing nothing. And women, they go around the Kaaba, especially when they have their period. So imagine how ugly the scenery is. Women, she have a blood coming from her private part, and now she is going tawaf. She is doing tawaf. You see, this says here tawaf, in Arabic tawaf. Tawaf is exist before Islam. This is nothing new. Yatufu fiha. Yatufun. You see the word yatufun, tawaf. Going around it. This is the practice of the pagan. The Muslim, they just carry on. People going around the Kaaba totally naked. Where Muhammad spoke against it, never. You know, Jesus, when he saw a bunch of Jews buying and selling in the outer skirt of the temple, what he did? Anyone remind me? Can somebody remind me what Jesus did? Just for buying and selling, not in the temple, out, out. You see, the temple have many, many yards. The outside. What Jesus did to those who they are buying and selling in the temple. He flipped the table on them. He was so, like, here you see Jesus never get upset as today. He was not even upset the day he was crucified the same as that day. Here Muhammad is witnessing, in fact, if you read my book, Six in Allah, you will see Muhammad, he see a woman, and later he wanted her to sleep with him, just because he saw her naked around the Kaaba. And she was singing a song. What you see is not available. This woman, she was saying, you see me, you see me naked, you see my breast, you see my, you know, the butt, you see the vagina. Well, it's not for you now, not today. Muhammad was watching, enjoying the scenery. He never spoke a word against it. Is that an act of a prophet of God? In fact, Muhammad, not only that, Muhammad, he used to let dogs come and piss in the house of Allah. And he never sprinkle after the dogs. So you can imagine how clean the mosque is. The Muslim, they take off their shoes when they enter the mosque. You ask them why? This is the house of God. Respect. Well, how come your God, Aka Muhammad, did not respect his God and he did not even sprinkle? It says here, nevertheless, they never used to sprinkle water in it.
Do you see it? This is your Prophet Muhammad. Don't forget to subscribe to my Ramble YouTube Patreon. And I say to you, my brothers and sisters, He is risen, our Lord the Messiah. He is alive. And the dead Muhammad, whoever follow him, he will be punished. He will go to hell. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. You will not allow a dog to piss in your bed. How you allow a dog to piss in your church or in your mosque? Unless you are filthy. Let us say he's a dog. It's an animal. He don't know. What about you? Don't you know that this is dirt? Isn't it Muhammad? He says, if a dog, he lick your dish, you have to wash it seven times. Seven times to wash your dish, but zero time to wash the mosque. And the dog giving in and out, pissing on the house of Allah. There's one of two scenarios. Either Muhammad and his companions, they smell way more ugly than the piss of the dogs. Or this is maybe a Buddhist. They have a special place for dogs. But we know that Muslims, they kill dogs. Muhammad, he command to kill the dogs. All the dogs, when people complain, he said, okay, only the dogs who they are guarding, leave them. I say to you, If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? I pray to the Lord that many they will see, many they will read, many they will study, and many they will understand. And this is the purpose of what we are doing. We don't hate Muslims, but we hate lies. And Muhammad and his cult is nothing but a lie. From their fruits, you shall know them. Remember, when we say we don't hate Muslims, doesn't mean we love their wickedness. No, we don't love their wickedness. Anyone here love the wicked Hamas? The rapists, the criminals, the, 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 the child molesters? No, we don't. When we Christian, we say that Jesus says love your enemy, it's not about giving them hugs as some false Christians they try to say to you. Christians should not compromise and should not give hugs to the devil. Christian, he saved his enemy by rebuking the enemy, by showing him how stupid he is, by following the devil. The kissing and hugs and speaking nice, this is all about being politically correct. The disciple of Jesus, they've been crucified, tortured, beheaded, all kind of torture, for they were not politically correct. John the Baptist, one of the greatest names we knew, he lost his head because he was not politically correct. Those who they are politically correct, they are not Christians. From their fruits, you shall know them. So may the Lord in the Easter day give you the prosper time to give a fruit, to bring more people to Christ, to become a fisherman, fisherwomen. Go and teach and preach. Save the world and save them from the devil lies. The father of all lies is Satan. That is Muhammad. He had many forms. He come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but he is a wolf. Did not take Muhammad too long to take off his coat as a sheep, and he starts slaughtering and raping. So it's not a secret no more, and you have no excuse. You've been informed, you've been told, you've been taught, I show you reference, I show you proofs. So if you stay as a Muslim, you have no excuse, and the day of judgment will be upon you. God is good. So is Jesus.
I mean to that. This is your brother Christian Prince was serving you humbly for today. See you soon again. Take care.